ネトマーブル It is officially time for another collaboration event in the amazing saga of the King of Fighters All Star featuring seven knights. Now, look at all these amazing knights. I don't know if there are exactly seven of them, but there are at least five, goddammit. Look at this chick right here. She has two different color eyes one to turn you into stone, and the other one just to make sure that you're not checking out her girlfriend. Now, check this guy out. He's a goddamn demon. He can shoot fireballs. Watch your face, Psyche, because he is about to stomp it into the ground. Now, Q, nameless. You think you're badass? Well, this goddamn monster has wings, a shield, and a sword. That's what you heard. And of course, presumably three tier battle cards. Oh, oh, you can control fire? I'm a goddamn phoenix. I was born on fire. King of Fighters All Star 11 26 collab update. Let's go. Now, it is time to preview everybody's skills, starting with Rachel. This is her amazing skill one. Let's see it again, just because we like to see things multiple times. Oh, fake out? That was actually her skill two, right there where she used a projectile phoenix. Let's see it again. Oh, there it was. She performed it before I could even tell her to do so. This girl must be psychic or something. This is her skill three, right here. It looks like a jab, a stabbing maneuver with with her straight sword, looking like a Tai Chi sword, and she has a fervent amount of energy. Now, let's jump into her three tier right this very effing second right now. Do not piss this girl off. What do you think about that cute little Asian girl in the bottom left corner of the screen? I agree. Yeah, she does move around a lot, doesn't she? We have no need of a language barrier because I can see the amazingness. Now, this is her five tier right now. She turns into a phoenix and goes up and comes down and come up. Boom! That is effing amazing. My brain is about to explode out of my butthole. Let's see it one more time. Here it comes. Boom! How amazing is Rachel? Now, let's go to the next character right now. Is this why everybody missed me? Because I do the most exciting covers and gameplay of any and every unit. Now, next on the list, we have Rudy. This light-skinned Seraphim knows no introduction. Unless, again, if you don't know him, I do not know this character. Here are all his skills. Ba ba ba. They look like a whole bunch of strike skills. Yes, strike skill after strike skill. With wave damage out of his holy sword. This noble paladin shows no mercy. Check out his finisher move. But if you pull his three two. This is when shit really hits the fan in the most epic way. He takes you to another world where he is the Dark Angel himself, Lucifer, and he has come to claim your soul in the King of Fighters All-Star. The next man we are talking about is not a man at all. He's the goddamn Grim Reaper himself. Look at the size of that sickle. And it looks like most of his moves actually imply the darkness effect. Now, that skill one was kind of crazy. Check this out. His skill two looks like it also is a light AOE attack. Let's see it one more time. Hit that skill two right now. People in the bottom left corner. There you go. That is what I'm talking about. That's my shit right there. Oh, this gets my blood hot. This looks like the next episode, our evolutionary- Wow, is skill three! Holy shit, that is not even fair. When did people stop using fists and start using demonic weapons in order to get wins in street fights? Well, does not matter, because this is this man. I mean, this demon's three tier right now. F with your ball. And as you see, it applied darkness. So let's see it one more time because it is just that. It is a darkening, magnificent attack that will leave your opponent leaking in the dirt. Now, what everybody has been waiting for, and I know that y'all have been to my cute little Asian girls on the bottom of class five tier. Now, if you get hit with this one, you know you effed up. One more time, just because. This is what happens again when you know you effed up. And that is all she wrote. Moving on to the next character. Uh, I think we're on three of seven. I don't even know if there were seven, but let's keep moving right now. 
The next new fighter on the list needs no introduction, unless if you don't know her like I do not. But anyway, sources tell me her name is Eileen. Now, let's check out her skills right now. Her skill one is fantastic. She spins around her lance and does all this crazy shit. Her skill two is pretty cool too. Check this out, more spinning of her lance. She must have been on the flag team in high school. Her skill three, she drops a bolt lightning on her opponent. And for her final skill, her three tier, she does this hyperactive attack. But if you get her three tier card, it F's people up in the most amazing way. She becomes the goddess of thunder herself. Female Odin and Loki and Thor all into one goddammit. And finally, we have Chain. Don't let her fool you. Look how fast her skill one is. Now, she also seems to activate super armor whenever she procs this skill. And it does seem to have a nice amount of range behind it. So, now this is her skill too, where she looks like she just had her morning medication along with a cup of coffee kick in, and she jumps around the stage just like an acrobat would. Now, her skill three is seemingly also very fast. She creates a somewhat illusionary figure, similar to how Chizuru would work her actives, and she pushes through. Now. This is her traditional three tier. As you see, she makes the Star of David, which is, well, how she rolls before her hair turns black, because she is obviously part of the occult and or part of the Illuminati. Right on, sister. That is the secret sign, and I'm sure that you know the secret handshake as well. Wink, wink. Yes, I agree. She is very elegant. And I could speak whatever indigenous language you are speaking, even though I really can't. But to everybody else's knowledge, they probably believe... No, they can't. I can't. What am I talking... <laughs> okay, this is her five tier. It looks effing amazing. That's all you need to know. But again, I'm going to obtain all these characters. <laughs> and I can't wait to battle test them. I can't. Like, her like this is awesome. I kind of want to jump into the War of Seven Nights a little bit more now. I mean, just throw out an anime and give me the cliff notes on it is all I'm saying. Well, everybody, that will officially conclude my video on the hype coverage of the new KOF All-Star Collab event featuring Seven Nights, which looks absolutely spectacular, if I do say so myself, but it should also be extremely noteworthy and interesting to see how all of those sporadic skills, say from Rachel or Rudy, where they're they're like hitting pretty much three quarters to the entire stage with seeming AOE, you know, type of strikes or projectile moves. It it would be crazy to dodge that. I thought that at times dodging a Gate Crasher Chris's skill three was a problem. But I can only imagine what new seven shades of shit that these new units will be able to dish out. But I'm also excited to being at the helm, obtaining all of them, of course, whenever I find out firsthand. And if you're new to my channel, uh, and you haven't liked or subscribed, probably gonna miss out on it. And whenever your people are talking about it, you're gonna be just left in the dark, so you might as well become part of the family right about now. I mean, better late than never, I always say. Or mainly it was said to me and it was just reinforced, so, so I, I say it from time to time, <laughs> is, it, it is the more accurate way to describe that. But again, I hope that this hype coverage, again, of the new Seven Nights collab with KOF All-Stars has been nothing short of exactly that exciting. Now, we have about two or three days until the event actually drops. So, got a little bit of time to charge them rubies. God damn it. But, can't wait. Can't wait. Can't wait. Everybody, watch me move. And again, to everybody who is going in on the banners... Good luck and Godspeed, because you know what I'm about to do day one, hour one. So, bearing all that in mind, I think that this was a successful coverage of the event. I have hoped, again, that you have all enjoyed my material. Again, this has been your guy, Senpai Rai, the most exciting creator in KOF all-star content history. <laughs>
Uh, I mean, come on. Y'all, y'all were hyped about this when y'all were. If you're not, then you're not human or don't have a sense of humor, one or the other, or even both. <laughs> but keeping it hype. Have a great day and have a wonderful night, everybody. I'm out of here, you guys. Later.